It's been almost a year since the famous Morton Wolf died. He was a legendary filmmaker, a brilliant inventor, and my father. The woman who killed him almost took my brother that night as well. Linda Miller kidnapped and poisoned Frederick. Extortion was Linda's game. She wanted my father's projector in exchange for Frederick's safety. It was my father's dark secret, something he never should have invented. The projector was a government project, an experiment in mind control. Unfortunately, it worked. My only option was to trick Linda, using the projector against her. I saved Frederick's life, and she was committed. The saddest part is Linda's our half-sister. Her mother was one of father's actresses. General Lee Porter, a friend of our father, destroyed the projector. We kept one piece, the iris, to remind ourselves of our father's sins. you. I was about to call you. I have found a solution to our little problem. All I need is the missing projector Iris and Morton Wolf's greatest invention will work again. Then you will set me free as agreed. Won't you? Hello, my beautiful sister. I like the renovation so far. I have to admit I was skeptical, but you were right. It's good to give this place a refresh, especially after losing Dad. It's time to start over. By the way, General Porter called yesterday and said he'd stop by. That might be him at the door. Could you let him in? see the two of you again. Look at my girl. You must be sweeping fellas right off their feet. And Frederick, my boy, we could use a man like you in the army. Hey, Uncle Lee. Good to see you too. To what do we owe the pleasure? Well, I'm afraid I have some bad news, son. I received a call from one of my officers. He told me that someone helped Linda Miller escape the hospital. Given her history with this family, she's a danger to you both. Do you still have the iris? I better take it. Oh dear. That's seriously bad news. Sis, could you go to the library? That's where we hid the iris. I'll talk more with General Porter. We'll be outside. We're lucky to have Uncle Lee looking out for us. I'll wait for you outside. It's such a nice day.
Excellent, my dear. We'll take this iris back to the base. We'll examine it and then destroy it. It's already done too much damage. And I was just telling your brother that I'd like you to be my guest for a few days until we sort this out. I want to keep you both safe. Uncle Lee is right, sis. It's for the best. We should go with him to the base and stay there until we know we're safe. Let's go. I'm glad you're all right. We're lucky to be alive after that crash. What in the world happened? A sandstorm? And camels? It's, it's impossible. The nearest desert is thousands of miles away. And the nearest camels are in the Central Park Zoo. We're not even in a desert. 
There's no sand for miles. The army base is right here on a rocky coast. I'll check on Uncle Lee. Try to find a way past this gate. There should be someone here who can help us. Everything was, I don't know, Egyptian or something. I must be losing my mind. Over and out.
I wonder why no one came to help us. There should be soldiers here.
General Lee came to for a moment, tried to get up and fell out of the car. He's still breathing, but he's out again. There's got to be someone who can help us pass that gate. It's a big compound. There must be a medical facility there. Or a first aid kit, at least. I bet some smelling salts would get the General back on his feet.
Juliet, wherefore art thou, Juliet? Art thou not, Juliet? If thou dost see her, I beg of thou, give her this locket in place of mine heart. Was that? I... I'm sorry, miss. I didn't know there'd been an accident. I'll gladly help you, but I don't think I'd be any good to you right now. I'm not quite right in my head today. I feel... strangely swoony. I keep having this daydream about a beautiful girl on a balcony. There are bandages in the medic's office. The door's stuck, but you can get in through the bar upstairs, if you're not afraid of heights. Juliet's not afraid of heights. She likes to stand there and gaze at the moon. Wait, what did I just say? I saw Juliet a few days ago. Okay, the actress who played her in the movie. That one, Barbara Miller. At least, I think so. She looked like she hadn't aged at all. The same as she was when she played Juliet in the movie. She hangs around with some shady scientist who does top secret research around here.
If you see her, send her my eternal love. Thank you. 